Ricky Gervais has been calling out these wokier than thou's longer than we thought. I am Mecca, and we have some news. Is this news? Or uh, is this a controlled opposition site? Because this is one of those sites that YouTube is really, really pushing. I always have to say, no, I'm not interested. But, you know, we'll, we'll click them anyway because it's Ricky Gervais and he's cool. He sounds off on virtue signaling prior to the Golden Globes. Remember in 2020, before the world went to shit, he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to tattle on every celebrity who was ever associated on that island. And I don't give a damn which ones react, which way and go, hmm. Did he say something about me? Ooh, and they all did, and you saw it, and you saw all of them, and it was hilarious. I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. And disgusting and sad, and why aren't we allowed to know the client list? Show us the client list, or else we... Re? Do we, do we, do we start a Twitter something and complain at them we complain at them is that what they listen to because hollywood listens to the people on twitter who complain at them and you know these people on twitter they get it in their heads these little wokier than thou's who want to come along and get upset over every little thing you say and do and everything you think because of course they do that's how these that's how these little twitter are they get so see they interrupt you in the middle of your thing too of your rant just to, just to orbit at us very slowly. <sighs> Probably the burritos. I, th I think, I think they them had a burrito or two. Hundred. Ah, where were we? Ricky Gervais, the comedian known for his yearly takedown of celebrities of the Golden Globes, said in an interview published Friday that he has since sensed a shift in the public's attitude towards Hollywood glitterati over the past decade. The first time I did it 10 years ago, everyone was like, oh, how can you talk about these wonderful multimillionaires? How can you talk to these beautiful people like that? We love celebrities, he told the Sun newspaper in an exclusive interview. By the last one, it was like, God, give it to them. We hate celebrities. I don't care anymore. <laughs> you know, we're tired of it. We're tired of them flaunting how successful they are and feeling like they're in prison in their mansions ellen degeneres i am so tired of these people they they, they act like they're they act like they're actually understanding how the average person feels and i've gotten into them so many times too and there's good ones out there of course there's good ones there's like keanu reeves is one of the good ones uh, you know as far as we know and of course, you see all these celebrities. Oh, reduce your carbon footprint. Meanwhile, they're jetting off or they're on their private yachts. I saw Leonardo DiCaprio on one of his private yachts. And, you know, every single... We know that these celebrities have a higher carbon footprint for one of these people than your entire town. We know this. Why do we tolerate it from these people? I like to mock them and leech off of their success and failures for my own profit and career choice because it's hilarious. This is what you used to see back in the day when celebrities would do stupid things. You would see people being allowed to call it out. You would see if they had a boob pop out, you could laugh at it. Now you can't even laugh at it, can you? Didn't, did, were people allowed to laugh at what's her name, Miley? Was it Miley on New Year's Eve? Where she, where she fled to enemy lines to go and do her little party celebration, right? Because they voted themselves out of a celebration, I suppose. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're doing political. We're too political. Bad me. This is why I don't like clicking on these news sites. Because then I start reciting what they say. Because ba bad Mecca. Ooh, bad Mecca. She's calling out the, the people for being what she is. A hypocrite. We're all hypocrites. The Golden Globe Awards, Hollywood's so-called biggest party that regularly drew 18 million television viewers, was reduced to a live blog Sunday for its edition. <laughs> nobody, nobody wanted to watch the Golden Globes. Nobody streamed it. Footage of the 2022 Golden Globes is unsuitable for human viewing. But trust us, you don't want to see it anyway. They were.
we're gonna have it on Hulu and then and then Hulu's like nah we're not even gonna air this nobody wants to see a bunch of Hollywood buffoons singing and dancing around about diversity 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 it is cringe it is bullshit and I hope that they're being very well handsomely paid for their souls that they clearly sold to go and do the shit that they're doing knowing it's not working knowing it's not profitable knowing it's not what the people want and need i mean seriously if this were working they would have aired the golden gloves they would have been screaming it from the rooftops how good it is the beatles literally played from the fucking rooftop they were that good because they could do it because they knew they could get away with it these people can't even broadcast their golden globes <laughs> it is hilarious and they know they're failing and it's so funny <sighs> but they have the power and the backing of all of the big corporations and the, and the Hollywood people. The organization announced that it's proceeding with its film and TV awards Sunday night without a telecast. Nominees, celebrity guests, red carpet, a host. They didn't even have a host. That's because they bullied the last one off of the internet, didn't they? Or was that the Academy Awards? That was the Academy Awards. They canceled Kevin Hart. They canceled a black man because Hollywood's so progressive. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh no, we can't have him. But because, oh, because he said something about somebody more oppressed than him. On a tweet accidentally or once, one time ago that he already apologized for. Oh no, you can't because you offended somebody possibly in the past. And once you f*** up in, in this modern day crazy times, that's it. Once you screw up. And that goes for people on YouTube and that goes for people in Hollywood and that goes for everybody ever now. There is no redemption anymore. And that's one thing I would really love to come back. This redemption, this path to... Forgiveness. How do we forgive and move past all of this? I don't think we can. I don't think we can anymore. And we're in this middle of this great separation and divide. And that's what the world seems to be coming around to. But it's like the yin and the yang. Every time you split apart, you got to come back around to make that circle. Because we're in a globe. You know, like the flat earthers say, they have followers all around the globe. The round one. <laughs> You're bested by controversy. The self-proclaimed biggest party in Hollywood has been reduced to a little more than a Twitter feed to be made fun of and mocked for their diversity, diversity, blowhard diversity, diversitying. You know, that's what every single speech was about. They were patting themselves on the back for it. Steven Spielberg's West Side Story won several big awards for Best Picture, Comedy, Musical, Best Actress for Rachel Zegler, and Best Supporting Actress. Yeah, did anyone see it? No. No! Ghostbusters Afterlife was well acclaimed. Spider-Man was that one out in time. Were either of those out in time? Probably if West Side Story, that one was just out. Why not Spider-Man? That had diversity in it. Is the cast racist against Zendaya for whatever race she may be? I don't know. She's kind of brownish. She's probably a diversity too. Gervais was famous for his irreverent approach to the award show. Last year he mentioned the former financier, Jeffrey Island. You know, the Island guy. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, he's gonna take ya. And your kitties. And he's gonna sell them on the black market. No. Oh, he's not. I don't know where I'm going with this one. The crowd groaned and he said, shut up. Shut up. I know he's your friend. And he said it exactly like that. And they all went, mm. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> he said our secret. He said our secret. Yes, we know you're all involved in this. We know that's how you guys stay in your little Hollywood circles. Everybody's been saying it. South Park has been talking about the Hollywood fart sniffing circles. South McFarlane has been leaking this forever. We know this stuff goes on. Famous for his irreverent approach to the award shows. Uh huh. Oh, he's famous for being funny anyway. He was a comedian long before. He told the British paper that he believes his approach was embraced by the public because so many viewers at home are struggling. And then they think, why are these people lecturing me? They're going to an award ceremony in a litter limo and they're telling me to recycle. Exactly. Why? Oh, we. there's nothing anybody hates more than a bunch of preachy, wokier than thou. Or religious zealots. It's the same thing when people want to preach their religion or their beliefs or their or their new miracle vitamin whatever thing, you know? That's the same damn thing. We don't want to hear it. We just want to have some fun and throw some uh, throw some old people into a into a shark's mouth. Ah, the shark. <laughs> If we can, I don't know. That was a video game I was playing lately. 
earlier. Earlier. He said people just got sick of the virtue signaling and the celebrities were like a beacon to aim their wrath at. You have to make a decision as a comedian, he told the paper. Do you pander to the 200 most privileged people in the world or in the room or the 200 million watching at home? Yeah, yeah, he chose the bigger audience and I think he was, made the correct decision. And he's, yeah, he was poking fun of them a long time. I just think it's hilarious that they didn't even air the f it's like it's like what are you gonna say anybody anybody could come and turn i think that might be part of it anybody who's not pre-approved might just sneak in some message at some point that might be the next thing we have we might have other people like ricky, ricky gervais sneaking in and letting the cat out of the bag and letting the secrets be told that they don't want you to say on live TV where they don't want you to say it and that's why that's part of why they're trying to censor YouTube and they're suppressing people like me so hard because they know we're going on live TV and telling it to the world you know some people some of us are getting you know hundreds of thousands of people watching these some of us aren't and I don't know where I'm going with that anyway I am Mecca and I will see you guys on the next video live stream and I'm going back to my live chat so don't you go anywhere the Universalists are at it again and are suppressing this channel. And the only way to stop them is to spread our message across all social media platforms. You need to like, subscribe, talk about this channel wherever you go. Only by using their tactics and agenda against them can we defeat them once and for all. So do your part today. Ah! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! Out of the wall. Oh no! Ah! I died. <laughs>